Portia wrote a coloring book about wanting to be R. Kelly's main girl despite him having a wife leaving a woman that was screaming to be let out of R. Kelly's sex cult. She fantasized about her ex-husband being her man when he was in a public relationship with his baby mother. Then she's engaged to a dude who's soon to be ex-wife was her co-worker she met both of them on the show at the same time and started an affair with him so yeah journalists are going to ask basic questions and not stroke your ego damn i'm sorry i work for dish nation i am in the world of journalism so my uh, word now she's needs journal to be... I mean, journalism is <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're downplaying my job oh, uh... Give me a minute. <laughs> Hot mess, child. Let me get into this Kenya Moore intro because y'all know our girl name was mentioned so that's why i'm using her intro even though it's a portia williams video let's get into the intro and into more of these comments and the hot mess that's been going on since portia williams been co-hosting the breakfast club she's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist she's no longer matching energy she's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul so if you start moving funny, she's moving on. What's up my friend I love, sister Sfina D, coming to you all from Vienna Team and News. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. I'm going to summarize most of this because you're already on YouTube. So if you type it in the search box, you can find it easily, okay? I'll go to the Tamara Hall show and you will find all of these interviews. So Angela Yee from The Breakfast Club, most of you are aware that she left. Angela has her own show now and she's doing great. During her interview, promoting her show and everything else that she have going on, Tamara asked her, Be aware that I said you're already on YouTube, just go ahead and search for yourself and all of that. But I changed my mind. So I have included a link in the description below. If you click that very first link in the description below, it will take you directly to the video for you to refresh your memory. For those of you who did not see or hear what Angela said on the Tamron Hall show. Okay, go all the way to the six minutes and around 18 or 19 seconds mark. And that's where the questions started. I'm going to summarize, okay. She basically, Tamara, basically said to Angela that she was the lone woman, okay, on the show. And that whenever there was a controversy from Charlemagne or DJ Ambi, there were people who held Angela accountable in their minds for their actions even though she had nothing to do with it so now portia williams you know is co-hosting the breakfast club because what they're doing is they're testing different people to see who's going to fit in replace angela they did have other male co-hosts but you do need a female perspective on a show like that so portia was there co-hosting and then of course they brought up what Angela said on the Tamara Hall show and all of that. And that's when Portia said, I'm summarizing, that she did not feel supported when she went on the Tamara Hall show. She felt attacked, you know, when she was there and Tamara was being shady. And she went on and on about not feeling supported. And Portia basically wanted Tamara to support her mess, okay? But no, girl. You were able to, you know, run away from the Real Housewives of Atlanta to not get those hard-hitting questions because of the mess that you put yourself in. And you're expected to go on the show with a real journalist and not get questioned. And now, you already know social media did not play with Portia. If you missed part one, please click the second link in the description below. I read the majority of those comments in part one. There were more comments that I didn't get around to reading. So depending on how long this video is, 
I might just read the rest in here. But after Portia Williams said what she said on The Breakfast Club, Lonnie Love decided to defend Tamara Hall. So let's get into that. Most of you know Lonnie from The Real, but Lonnie has worked on other things as well. So she tweeted, for my book tours, I was interviewed by Gail Kink and Tamron Hall. Both read my books because they had the books marked with notes. I was bleeping shocked and honored. They took time to read it, but it helped to make a great interview. They are journalists <laughs> in all caps. Portia retweeted what Lonnie wrote and she responded, so touching, heart emoji. So Lonnie responded, this is not about you, P, and I hope you know that. This is about the fact that there is a difference in journalists versus non-journalists. I'm an interviewer, but not a journalist. And I learned a lot by watching these women. You know, so the comments started light at first, okay? Exactly, Lonnie. You know, that's easy. No shade, no dragon of Portia. But just wait and see, chair. Lonnie, you are not wrong. Don't explain yourself to her. You don't have to prove anything to her. Her as in Portia. Don't pay her any mind. She loves attention and people kissing her. Mm -hmm. She forgets not everybody is Shemia, her sister, or her mama. Child, not Shemia, her sister, and her mama catching strays. Lonnie is speaking facts. At the end of the day, Tamron is a journalist and has a degree in journalism. She worked for years as a reporter of news. So for Portia to make a statement that Tamara wanted to look like a journalist shows how absent-minded Portia is. Thank you, Lonnie Love, for educating this dumb-ass rock chair. Bye, Portia. I love you down, but nah, I can't agree with ignorance. Lonnie called a spade a spade. Being a mass communication major myself, oh baby, it's a difference. Any info that is out in the public about you is fair game in an interview. Also, good reporters actually do research before interviews, so expect the unexpected. Now, the comments that I read in part one were from Instagram, okay? And they dragged her there. These are from Twitter, and Twitter had no mercy either. These tweets are actually under the Portia Williams response, okay? So they wanted to make sure that Portia saw what they were tweeting. Girl, you always trying to be a victim. That lady was nice to you and gave you many compliments. You mad that she wasn't a yes man to a relationship everybody raised an eyebrow about? Maybe don't go public with a man after playing in the pool with his wife. You wanted that lady's life. Mm, mm, mm. Portia dumb as a box of rocks and she got the nerve to have an ego and before you come with the but her millionaire husband child ain't nothing impressive about being a nasty home wrecker. Women been doing that for centuries. Yeah. Exactly Lonnie. That's the part. Timon Hall is a journalist an award-winning investigative reporter for years. For Portia to say she is acting like a journalist is a lie and ignorant. And like I said in part one, I just had to say it in this one as well, this person comment, wow, they went in, but Portia and Simon did not meet on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They were allegedly already having an affair before Fallon came on the show with her husband. Now, at the end of part one, I did say, you know what, there are more comments, but I might read the rest of them in part two. So I'm going to keep my promise and read the other comments that I didn't get to read in part one because the video was getting too long. Before I read those comments, let's revisit the Angela Yee and K. Michelle interview real quick. Now, I did say in part one that I was going to talk about this because, yes, I get it. Angela is not obligated or responsible for the things people say, the things, you know, her co-host said, and the list goes on and on. But as a woman, there were times where she could have stepped in, you know, and defended women or, you know, be the voice of women when the guys were being disrespectful and she didn't. 
and the incident that we're going to talk about is the k michelle situation when there were two rappers on there that basically have never touched k michelle in a sexual way but decided to repeat a rumor that her lady parts smell you know i'm not going to go into details it was very disgusting but what bothered k michelle is that the interview was already over they were about to leave and angela Yi decided to repeat that rumor and brought it back up and as the guys continued to call k michelle all of these names being disgusting angela sat there chuckling and laughing and all of that so i have included the link from that interview in the description below the link is right next to the title angela Yi versus k michelle so the first conversation about everything start at the six minutes and 45 seconds mark it lasted until 12 minutes and 35 seconds and then all the way almost at the end of the interview around the 21 or 22 minutes mark it started again and then around the 23 minutes mark it started again and then it stopped there actually and then from 30 minutes to 31 minutes it started again because at the end of the interview Charlemagne wanted to see if Kamisha and Angela could have some form of reconciliation before she left and Kamisha was like I wish her well but I'm good on her so definitely go ahead and watch that if you forgot and then come back and let's talk about it. And fast forward, rapper Gucci Man was being disrespectful towards Angela Yee. I guess she had made some comments that he wasn't too happy about and he went in on her. He told some lies on her allegedly and she wasn't too happy that the guys that she considers, you know, her brothers and her co-hosts sat around laughing at what he was saying did not defend her, step in, stop the situation and all of that. And she was very heated. And social media just felt like that was her karma because now you know what it feels like and what K. Michelle was talking about. Because as a woman, this man is claiming he did all of these things with you, allegedly, and you are saying those things never happened. And that's all K. Michelle was trying to say. So incidents like that, even though, like I said over and over again, Angela Yee is not obligated. People just felt like there are moments where as a woman, she could have stepped in and just say, you know what? You all have your opinion, but as a woman, I'm not going to sit here and allow you all to disrespect women like that. Especially when it's hearsay and both parties who are talking about it have never been with that woman sexually. I don't want to make this video over 20 minutes long. I do have another video coming up where Portia did talk about Kenya Moore. That video is not going to be long at all because that segment wasn't long. Portia did hop in the comment section and responded to some of her supporters. But apart from that, you know, it's a straightforward video. So I think that would be the perfect video to read the rest of the comments of people checking Portia and putting her in her place based on what she had to say about Tamara Hall. If I keep reading in this video, we will be here for almost 30 minutes and I do not want to do that. So I apologize for not reading the remaining comments in here, but I will absolutely read the remaining social media reaction in the Kenya Moore video. Thank you all for the love and support. Please do not forget, I still do have the link to my boutique in the description below. Please click that link and continue to support the business. And yes, I am saying Tamron Hall, okay? I'm not saying Tamara or Tamra, okay? I'm saying Tamra. It's just that when I get to the run part, it sounds like my voice is muted. And also my accent, okay? But I'm saying Tamra. Anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. I love, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.